Update 5 for the Isle of Rima is out now and I'm going to be talking about everything in this update in a full update overview. Now in theory this is a full update overview however I'm going to be quickly going over everything because I'll be going over the additions, the enhancements, the balance then at the end a quick overview and showcase of the bug fixes. That being said timestamps for everything are on the screen now and if you want a full guide to the update I recommend checking out this video. Anyways guys if you do enjoy feel free to subscribe but other than that let's get right into it. So let us get right into the nitty gritty, the brand new features that are in this update and remember this is a quick overview of the video so the main in depth guide to update 5 which goes into all the new additions in detail is on the screen now and I recommend you check it out but let's get right into it firstly we have a brand new skin system in the game which allows you to change the vast amount of every playable character's colours with a bunch of different patterns from male display to hide and stuff like that you can also change other things you have an editor tool which you can create for your new dinosaur you can't change the colors of your dinosaur midway through the session baby dinosaurs also inherit it from their parents so you cannot create your own skin when you hatch you can see what the skin will look like on the dinosaur when it's a baby you can change the pattern change the pattern size and save the patterns send those patterns to your friends and a whole bunch more you can also inherit them from your parents which ties into nesting which which is also coming to the game. This includes the ability to mate with a partner and form a bond. That then leads you to be able to build a nest by collecting sticks to put at the nest location and then once you've fully completed your nest you can then lay eggs and also some dinosaurs won't be collecting sticks they can dig up the nests. That is the same or true for Tenontosaurus and I believe Dinosuchus as well. Eggs need to be managed when they are laid from hot and cold otherwise they rot or are destroyed. Babies can hatch from these successful eggs through a private or public nest invite. Babies can also then once hatched beg for food. It's better if you have a full preferred diet or perfect diet to feed to your baby because if they if you have that the baby gets it as well when you feed them. Anyone in your group can do this as well. What else is new in this update? Well here's some of it. There's new salt rocks on the map when you are full and sick because you've ate too much you can eat these salt rocks and it'll cure you of the sickness. There's also a new location which is a coastal cove. New pouncing miss animation for Utah Raptor. Pachycephalosaurus Ram does more damage. New video FX for Hypsilophodon. Blind animation uh, ability. New textures for Boar, Deer, Rabbit and Sea Turtle. New moving book animation for Tonontosaurus. Compi Carcass Decay and Despawn. New nearby dynamic environment sounds. Added hatchling growth admin commands and a whole bunch more. The rest or everything is on the screen now. Now, that's pretty much everything for the new features however, let's get into the game enhancements. Game enhancements is a massive list and I'm going to challenge myself to read every single one of them that's in this list. So good luck to me, this is going to be absolutely horrible, I'm going to hate this, but I'm doing it, you know, why, am I, why are you watching? Just to make me suffer? Anyways, what is in this update in the enhancements? Well, stopped pounce cancelling attacks on dismount, improved headbutt hit detection, made leg fractures more accurate, made ragdolls less stiff when not dragged and carried, avoided cancelling some abilities if hit by a pachycephalosaurus that's too small, updated title screen disclaimer, updated fan palm trees, updated stegosaurus mesh with new female morph, Forced pounce to cancel headbutt if the pouncer latched right before. Improved compi ragdolls. Improved some old cascade effect performances. Improved audio. Improved scent icons. Set up cycad collisions. Updated music manager and added songs. Increased amount of mushrooms to spawn in the game on the map. Improved footprint decal performance. Reduced volume of idle dinosaur sounds and river ambient loops. Adjusted food value calculations for schooling fish and fruits made players return to the faction select menu if no spawn was found prevented chat entry if dead and drone resting animation transitions client side performance improvements split horizontal and vertical mouse sensitivity so you can tweak them both made pounce 
cancel scenting, prevented chat and profile UI to be able to at the same time, causing input issues. Changed vocals to avoid playing animations if stunned. Made ambient fauna one shot sound further away. Removed beach 2 and 3 from admin teleport. Changes to pounce and ram latency compensation. Prevented bird flocks triggering too often. Increased crab weight slightly. Increased piece of plant size a little. Made a fast flight cancel skimming, small changes to spectator mode, improved ragdolls, adjustments to resting and idle sounds, made low stamina dinosaurs only get stuck in mud if more than submerged, reduced crab weight, small changes to gore and fruits for more server performance, updated Tenontosaurus jump animations, adjusted fluid simulation, reduced boar attack hitbox, decreased Pachycephalosaurus ram raw damage, reduced Dinosuchus pain sound volumes, decreased Pteranodon broadcast volume, adjusted coconut tree foliage collision, threatened vocals modulation in adjustments, removed Dryosaurus evade stamina cost, made Dryosaurus use A and D for dodge direction, made juvenile dinosaurs have increased acceleration and deceleration rates, Boar is now able to be latched on by two pouncers, made mud slow dinosaurs down faster, small changes to pounce versus ram, made coconuts, orange and mango to spawn more often on the map, increased slide speed limit, compies now despawn when no players are around, and adjusted goat pounce points. Yes, that's all the enhancements, every single one of them, and that was a hell for me to go through. I'm definitely not doing that again. That was absolutely disgusting, and that took so long to do as well. You guys just want to make me suffer, and I guess that's what happens when I do a full update overview, but luckily I'm not doing that for bug fixes, otherwise I'd be here for 20 minutes. And now we move into balance, another big section. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go over starting with global mechanics, then AI, and then dinosaurs specifically, and we're going to try and do it that way. Now, I do apologize for this one. This is also in the dev blog as well, but it's for people who prefer it read out. So, let's get into it. Let's start with global mechanics. Firstly, with diets, carnivore diets adjusted from 50% to 25% growth to alleviate free growth time. And now for tracking, decreased the amount of sentable footprints overall, increased the space between tracked footprints appearing, and increased the time between blood drops onto the ground as well. For hunger intake, global food intake increased to make mega packs more difficult to maintain. For fractures, global fracture heal modifier decreased slightly, locational damage, global tail base multiplier reduced, Juvenile mobility, juvenile acceleration time globally decreased, same as its deceleration time globally decreased as well. All juveniles that skid have maximum skid distance reduced. Crowd control, global knockdown time reduced as well. And now let's get into the AI for the boar. It's the only AI that has had some balance. Uh, max health reduced, blood pool reduces, mass reduced, food value reduced, and spawn amount reduced as well. Now let's go into the dinosaurs. We're starting with Carnotaurus and Dinosaurus. Sucus and Dryosaurus and you get the picture like that. With Carnotaurus, Boar added to the three dots nutrient. Standard bleed multiplier increased, walking bleed multiplier increased, trotting bleed multiplier increased, mass removed per tick increased, and I believe that is for stamina, body fracture health reduced, and attack hitbox lowered slightly. For Dinosuchus, uh, Dinosuchus now is on the S nutrient, Stegosaurus is on the lines nutrient, Regen rate of, I believe this is stamina or attacks, has been decreased. Uh, regen rate doubled if resting or scenting, so that's for stamina. Uh, mass removed per tick increased, that's for food. Starting juvenile attack power has been increased. Oxygen now lasts twice as long. Passive range increased for scent. Uh, active range in remains unchanged. For Dryosaurus, its damage has been increased on its peck attack, stamina cost removed for sprinting, removed camera based aim, uh, A and D toggles for dodge, so that's for dodge, mass removed per tick increased. For Pteranodon, Hypsilophodon moved to the S nutrient, damage increased on peck attack, and that's pretty much it. For Hypsy, um, also mass removed per tick as well for food values. For Pachycephalosaurus, 
Horned Melons swapped for Melons, damage increased slightly on its primary bite, and then for the Ram ability, Speed Influencing damage removed, Tap Ram damage reduced, Held Ram damage reduced, Blunt damage modifier increased, Turns faster when holding a charge, Self Stagger Threshold for Tap Ram increased, Stealth Stagger Threshold for Downwards Ram increased, Tap and Downwards Ram cost reduced slightly, Hold Ram stamina cost reduced slightly as well. And then for booking for Pachycephalosaurus, stamina damage per tick increased to pounces increase. Uh, and for movement speed, we'll now use juvenile locomotion until halfway till full adult. For Stegosaurus, hunger intake, mass removed per tick increased. For Tonontosaurus, hunger intake is the exact same. Primary attack damage has been increased slightly. Secondary attack damage has an increased knockback distance. Stamina cost has been reduced. Hitbox adjusted to better match the animation as well. And for its tail slam, the stamina cost has been reduced as well. For Utah Raptor, Stegosaurus is swapped to the Lines Nutrient. Hypsilophodon swapped to the S Nutrient. Hunger intake is the same for every single dinosaur. Damage on its bite attack has been increased. And for its pound ability is remove the initial damage and bleed to encourage holding the pounce instead of spamming it. And that is everything for the balance of dinosaurs. Now bug fixers, there is a lot here. I'm going to put them all on the screen now so you can pause and read over them. However, a lot of things that I do want to say is that there's been a lot of optimization in this update. I'm getting a lot of comments that say people are getting way more like optimized in terms of fps and it's performing better for them so that's a good thing that's probably been fixed in this update and being focused on because i am aware the developers did want to focus on that as well we also see some other fixes for example the stuff with unreal engine and also the stuff with some dinosaurs diets the drinking areas where the glitches were where you could not go to the river to drink they're gone now and some other stuff have been swapped and changed around the map as well and that's pretty much it for bug fixes the whole rundown is on the screen have a pause have a read but yeah i'm not going to go over bug fixes otherwise we'll be here for a whole day but that is the whole rundown of the update in as fast as i could do it right anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what you think of the isle of rima update 5 and this big fat update that came with it this big fat video this has taken me a while to sort out so uh yeah i could have got out on the day but i've had a long day today as well i had to get it out like the video edited on the Thursday because today I'm graduating and I'll probably be quite drunk so I won't be able to work on videos so I do apologize for that so yeah anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what you think of update 5 if you are new and want to be kept in the loop for everything dinosaur game news related feel free to subscribe but other than that let's get right into the video peace <laughs>